So check this out. Earlier today, I went and got a car wash. And to be honest with you, it's been about six months since I got a car wash, right? So I just had a strange feeling today, like, you know what? Like, let me go, let me go ahead and wash the truck, you know? So I went to the car wash, right? I paid at the little gate and everything was cool until it was time for me to line my tire up with the little track thing. <laughs> I always have trouble with that. I don't know. Is it just me or do you have problems lining it up? So, you know, I'm, I'm lining the bad boy up. And there's, the, there's this guy, he's a worker. He's standing right by the track and he got a sign. And he looking straight at me, holding the sign, like, you know, telling me what to do. You know, and to be honest with you, I'm not, I see him on my peripheral, but I'm not even looking at him because I'm trying, I'm lining my own wheel up. You know, I'm thinking in my mind, like, I really don't need no help. Like, I got this. So here it is. I'm still going. I'm still going. And all of a sudden, I realize something. On my peripheral, I see his finger doing like that. That's when I hit the brake. I, I hit the brake. I'm like, oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> then I look up at him and he's moving me this direction. That's when I let out a big smile and you know what I'm saying? I kind of, I was like, all right. So I start turning. Little did I know I'm, I'm turning way too hard. He start pointing back the other way. Then he tell me straighten it back up. Then he did this right here. Then he gave me a thumbs up. You know, I mean, he was doing a variety of things. Like this guy, he knew what he was doing. Why is that? I realized something. He had a better view than me. Many times in life, we trying to line our own situation up. We, 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 we think we know what we're doing. When God is right there with the answers, when he's right there leading us. See, God is already in your future, so there's no need to fear it. <laughs> he's already there. He's the creator of time. He's already there. And this guy, <laughs> notice, I'm gonna be real. I didn't really, I didn't really pay him no mind until I really needed him. If I'm being honest, like I, I probably wouldn't even looked at him the whole time. After I got it on the track, I probably would have wound the window down and been like, "Hey, man, appreciate you." But, but really, in my mind, I was just trying to do it myself because, you know, I mean, it, it's my truck. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm used to lining this thing up and parking this thing. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know. But I had to learn to let go and say, you know what, Demarcus, even though you drive this thing every day, you ain't got the best view of your vehicle. See, you sitting up high, you can't, you can't, you can't even see no wheel we at. You might know of a range or a certain amount of space where you think the wheel at, but you really don't know. This man right here is on ground level. This man has clarity. He's telling you, you way over here, dude. Like, you need to come over here. Then I go too far this way. I mean, look, I'm trying to tell you, I need to help out there. And if I would have tried to do it, if I would have tried to, to do it myself, man, look, I'd probably be in that car wash backwards, man. <laughs> I'd be the first ever car on the news that, that, that went through the whole car wash sideways. And people look at it like, how did he get in that sideway? Trying to do it himself. Yeah, trying to lean on his own understanding. See, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not some of your heart, all of your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And what shall he do? He shall direct your path. The guy right there, he directed my path. I just have to choose to humble myself, submit, and follow the leading. Sometimes we know too much and that gets in the way. We think, oh man, I do this every day. No, obviously not. I, I, I must not be doing a good job of it if, if he told me I'm going the wrong way. So you know what I'm going to do from now on when I go back in another six months because I, I really you know, don't go there too often. Oh, I'm going to trust in him. That's right. Next time I pull up to that bad boy, I'm making eye contact with him from way back there in the line. Like this right here. Like, Hey, hey, show me which way to go. I'm going to have my window down and everything. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I might even, even give him a can of Coca-Cola or something, man. Show my appreciation. I don't know. But next time, I purpose in my heart 
to follow earlier instead of trying to be hard-headed. And I learned my lesson today. And I want to let you know something. Sometimes we get hard-headed. We human. But look, don't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Don't don't keep, uh, uh, you know, somebody got to tell you you going the wrong way before you choose to say, oh, and then you listen to God. No, just 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 choose to, to take a stand right now and say, you know what? I don't know what to do. So I'm going to choose, look, I'm going to choose to get into his word and he'll direct my path. And see, there's peace in that because we all need to be led. We all need to follow Jesus because if we're trying to do things in and of ourselves, we're trying to govern our own self, we're, we're, we're calling all the shots. It's no joy in that because we're not, we're not, we're not created. We're not created to, to, uh, you know, to try to, to try to be that leader. We're created to humbly submit to the father who enables us right to lead the way that he sees fit and there's peace in that because i'm under recovery there's peace in submission what does submission mean sub the word sub means under okay so like a subway sub means under mission see you're getting under god's mission submission you're submitted unto god and there's peace in that because i see my position I'm, and that means i'm in the back seat and god has the will so there's joy in that but if we're not submitted to the Lord and we're trying to do things on our own, listen, <laughs> you ain't got to go through the car wash backwards. You know, I done did it before, not the car wash backwards, but I'm saying in life, I, I, done, I done did plenty of things the wrong way. And I promise you, I'm telling you the truth, man. Like you ain't got to go through all the same mistakes again. And review. you ain't got to do that. Just take my word for it. It's joy when you choose to follow the Lord. Do it his way. I'm not sure who this was for, but I pray it reached you. If you made it to the end of this video, that means you're a real one. I need you to comment the word. I choose to follow Jesus. Once again, I need you to choose. I need you to comment the word. I choose to follow Jesus. That lets me know you made it to the end of this video. Hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. I love you all so much. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Hey, I love you so much, and I'll see you on the very next video.